Welcome to Tacos and Geeks.com Reviews. Justin here, and today we are back with our winter anime coverage of 2018. We are on episode 6 of Junji Ito's collection, and I will have to say I really enjoyed episode 6 compared to, once again, another lackluster episode. Um, it just seems to be a hot and cold streak with this show, but I'm sticking with it because I'm a horror fan and I'm a big fan of Junji Ito. So let's get into episode six. The first story is called Windows Next Door, which sees a family who have just recently moved in and they have a very, very creepy, strange neighbor. And one thing I really like about this is that this one really was some, some, some severe horror elements in this. I loved it. I was in tense i felt tense throughout this entire episode of the at least the first half of it and what i really did enjoy about this is this there was this really creepy factor as the family you know they go to this neighbor's house they're not going to do nobody's answering so they continue to you know introduce themselves to the neighborhood and they find out that the person who lives right next door to them barely ever comes out no one really knows what they, she, she or she looks like they don't know why they don't come out you could just see kind of them a shadow from the window from the top floor and then as the episode progresses you see that the neighbor is calling to the kid the young man that lives you know with his parents to his room he opens the door and you see this creepy old woman and just the voice i i will say the voice acting in this episode really nails the job because the voice is creepy and you just hear her keep saying young man young man how are you today how are you today and she's just trying to get closer and just the visual of how she looks is absolutely creepy I, I i kid you not guys i did get chills watching this episode i think mainly because of the visual of how this creature looked and not to mention the voice acting with it it was just a, kind of a disturbing voice for me i don't know why it creeped me out it sounds very basic but it's just the way the delivery was it really did creep me out i was just like oh crap I, oh, all right all right all right all right and i will say the only flaw with this is that i didn't want it to end this, epi this, this part of the section of the episode is only seven minutes long, and it ends so abruptly. Like, you want to know what happens to this kid. Did the monster get him? Because you, you, did she get him? Did, did she get closer to him? What happened? It just ends. And that's probably my biggest problem with the shorts. Even with it's an adaptation, like I said previously in these previous reviews, even if it's an adaptation, come on, you have 23 minutes. At least expand on the story, even if it's not expanded. I mean, adaptation is free to add on to things. We've seen this in to interpret. That's what adaptations does. We see this in comic book movies. We see this with live action animes. We see what they can do with adaptation. If the story just ends abruptly as it did, and you're clinging on to you like, oh my god, I gotta find out what happens to this kid. And that's just how it ends. I understand that's how it is in the manga. But still, you, I was just like, oh my god, it was so frustrating. It was so good, so intense, great performances, great setup. You, you actually fear for this kid because it, every night this creature's getting closer and closer and keeps bothering him. She, I think the most creepiest part was like, okay, if you don't want to come over to my house, I'm going to come over to you. That part, that's when the chills really started happening. And then you see the creature just trying to get closer and closer. But overall, the first half, Windows Next Door, I really did enjoy. The second story, Gentle Goodbye, was actually a very bittersweet um, something that you're not really expecting is about a girl who lost a father and, you know, just basically overcoming the death of it. And it was a really good, I, I will see why they chose Windows Next Door, because they, ex they explored a lot more time on this story, which actually, believe it or not, actually really did work. And I really did enjoy it. It was very somber. It, was, uh, it gave you nice characterization. It had like this, there's some little horror elements into it. It has a little bit of a, the best way to describe it is it had a little bit of a sixth sense feel to it. Uh, of the girl who's just basically seeing things and, you know, finally a story with, you know, really great, characterization and and things like that i really did enjoy it though i, I you know the, for the manga i definitely have to read the manga for this story because it was very very move moving i didn't see it coming 
And I didn't expect this one to really actually kind of tug at the heartstrings. Like, I, no one was really prepared for it. Definitely, I will say, it's one of my favorite moments. And the reason why I'm not, I'm very vague about this one, because I actually want you guys to see it for yourself. It has some great character moments. And I think it, for the short of time, it really did a well job of establishing the story. And just, it's kind of sad. It's very sad. But overall, you guys, this episode was a solid, uh, home run i will definitely say watch it watch it watch it watch it watch episode six especially one of the next door for the creepiness and then you have gentle goodbye for the somber emotional characterization and character development and just a good character story so this is justin from the saying late days catch you on the next one